So in this video, in continuing the theme of custom hardware for image processing, I'm going to go over some of the very basics of how digital cameras work. And a little bit of this is, uh, might seem a little bit too detailed or too analog for something on digital processing, but a lot of the processing steps that you do in image processing, and specifically camera processing pipelines, have to do with correcting imperfections or problems that show up in digital cameras. So it can be useful to know just a tiny bit about cameras. Um, I'm not a physics person or an electrical engineer by training, so if some of this is a little off, um, just uh, forgive me. So the basic technology behind digital cameras is the photosensor. And I'm not going to go into a ton of detail about photosensors in this video, but uh, I've just depicted a photosensor as a little gray box labeled photosensor. And photosensors, which are normally built using uh, CMOS semiconductor technologies, um, are devices that take in photons or particles of light and they emit electrons. So what photosensors are really doing is they're emitting an electrical signal that is proportional to the intensity of light arriving on the sensor. And then that electrical signal can be transmitted uh, over a wire into a circuit which can do digital processing or analog processing, excuse me. And the idea behind a digital camera is really that you can take your photosensors and you can stack them up into a gigantic array, you know, arrange them in a square in space on a big uh, photosensing uh, plate, effectively. And that by taking this sort of uh, 2D array of photosensors and putting a lens in front of it to focus light, you can build a camera. So you can take, you know, the real world with some objects in it and a light source that's emitting photons. And the lens can focus these photons to hit this photosensor array. And you can interpret the intensity of light or the electrical signal coming out of each of these uh, photosensors stacked up in this 2D grid as a pixel or uh, an intensity of light and put them together into an image. So here I've idealized this a little bit, but we've got four very dark pixels for the object here and then grayer pixels for the table and some white pixels for the surrounding area. And this is the basic uh, pipeline behind digital cameras. Um, you have a bunch of photons coming in from the real world. They're focused by a lens. These focused photons hit a grid of photosensors arranged in 2D. Um, and then a bunch of wires carrying electricity representing the intensity of light hitting each photosensor in the grid come out. Those are sent to an analog to digital converter and the analog to digital converter emits numbers that are proportional to the intensity of light hitting each sensor in the grid. And these numbers are really grayscale pixels. Um, and in a typical um, modern digital camera, what you'll see is uh, CMOS photosensors. So sensors built with uh, CMOS semiconductor technology. And the last step, which is the one that we're really gonna focus on these videos is digital image processing. So once you've got your pixels out, typically you're gonna have a bunch of extra processing steps. Uh, that are going to do things uh, you might have heard terms like demosaicing or white balance or hot pixel correction uh, but they're basically going to run this uh, raw image data or raw sensor data through a bunch of processing steps to produce a, a better looking corrected improved image so we're going to get some extra pixels out and so for example here we've changed the value slightly so 38 has been corrected down to 14 and uh, maybe 9 has been adjusted slightly to 7. so in subsequent videos we're going to talk about the processing steps involved in a very simple digital camera pipeline and how they're implemented in hardware and why they're good candidates for implementation in hardware. So I'll see you in the next video.